Hey y'all, welcome to Cruelty Free Foundation Friday. I'm doing this before work, so I kind of need to hurry, um, but I'm doing this because I am a risk taker. I want to see if this will actually hold up to my natural day at the office. You know, an eight hour day, if I stress, sweat, if I touch my face when I'm like looking at my computer, etc. You may have heard me say I'm still on the hunt for my holy grail cruelty free BB cream, CC cream, light to medium coverage foundation. I have found my holy grail full coverage foundation, the Kat Von D Locket, but that's not what I wear every single day just to go to the office. I like just like a light BB cream or a light coverage foundation, something very simple I don't have to think about, just slap it on, very easy, good to go. So today we are trying out the By Terry Light Expert Click Stick. I saw this on Octoly and I immediately wanted to try it. One, because I want to try out every single cruelty-free foundation product I can get my hands on. But two, I love By Terry because they're good quality ingredients. And also, there's not very many true luxury brands that are also cruelty-free. By Terry very much believes in their no testing stance and I like fully support that. This is definitely a high-end foundation. It's $65. It comes in 10 shades, and I got mine in the shade number four, which is rosy beige. Initially, I was like, oh, I hope it matches. I just saw swatches online, but I figured this out when I went to swatch it. This is so cool. So it's one of those that comes with its own brush attached, right? But it is like a kabuki brush, which I appreciate. It's not one of those like flat paintbrush styles. Um, this comes off so you can clean it, so you don't have to worry about it getting all gunked up and everything. That is so cool to me. And then the tube of foundation comes out of it, and I was able to tell this looks like it'll match me pretty well. What I've already done is add a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer to my heaviest melasma spots on my cheeks and on my forehead. That is my typical routine for day-to-day -day office wear. I kind of slap on some concealer, blend it out, and then slap on like a BB cream light foundation. So let's try this out. I do have a Real Techniques complexion sponge damp ready to go here. I did just get, let me show y'all, I got this this little kit right here, this is 20 bucks and comes with nearly every single one of the Real Techniques sponges. It has three of the little micro sponges, two of the regular complexion sponges, and then one of their new sculpting sponge. This is the only one I don't quite know what to do with yet, but all the others I'm actually very impressed with. It's the first time I've ever tried a Real Techniques sponge. I've always been like a beauty blender, just like patron. I love them. Um, but I'm very, very impressed with these, especially the little baby ones. Anyways, let's get into this. concealer over here so it is covering my melasma pretty well still light coverage and it's still pretty radiant I'm gonna see if it dries down a little bit um, although I would always set it with a powder regardless I'm just so oily I never take any chances and I think the color match is pretty good again could be a little bit more on the pink side but I think this is perfectly fine and once I get powder and everything I think it should look just fine okay let's do the other side It does seem very buildable. I would say, I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to say light medium, but somewhere between light and light medium coverage. So I'm very happy with the coverage. This is perfectly fine for me to go to work, slap some powder on. It'll give me a little bit more coverage to it. Um, again, just to go to the office, I don't care that I have a little bit of my melasma shining through. I mean, we're all friends there. It's fine. Also, my skin is at its absolute worst right now. If you ever notice something's a little bit off on the videos that I film between like the last week of the month and the first week of the month, you know why. I'm always like PMSing or I just started. It did seem to build pretty well on itself. It didn't get cakey or anything. Still looks very skin-like. I'm willing to bet I would get um, more coverage with the brush, but I just prefer not only the quickness, efficiency of a sponge, but I prefer the finish of a sponge too. So this is where I'm at. I'm going to set it with my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder, which is what I pretty much always use. Maybe adds a hint of coverage, but mostly just mattifies and sets. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to keep it really simple, and then I will be back. 
Hey y'all, I'm back. I've had this on for probably about 30 minutes. That's probably about how long it took to do my makeup, even though I was trying to do something really, really simple and just get out the door. But I think it's looking really great so far. Just very skin-like, and I love how quick and simple and easy it was to apply. That is exactly what I'm looking for in a product like this to slap on and go to work and look put together, but not have to spend an hour in front of the mirror every single morning. So as long as this holds up and performs throughout the day, I'm good. I'm happy with it. And I also wanted to mention what I have on my lips. I'm wearing the By Terry Balm de Rose. This is the Crystalline Bottle. Their Balm de Rose is like one of their most iconic products. They've had it around for ages. It comes in a little pot. And when I saw that it, they have a version, a little travel friendly version in a tube, I jumped on it. So I've been using this every single night and my lips have gotten so, so much better. I'm so happy that I have this to get through the winter time. This is also a really good cruelty-free option. I know Dior has a rose balm that's very iconic. They've had it for a long time too. This and the one in the pot by Terry's Balm de Rose may be a really great option for you to look into if you're trying to find a good cruelty-free dupe. All right, I need to go. I need to eat some breakfast and then get on the road. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm, fingers crossed. I really want this one to work. I love that By Terry has really good ingredients, and so I'll be really happy if this one works for me. OT, I know, but I found the most badass radio station if you live in the DFW area. 94.5. It's like old school R&B, and then like 90s and 2000s. Oh, I love it. So it is 937. I need to get gas, FYI, and it is 44 degrees outside, which is freezing ass cold to me, but it's going to get really, really cold today. So far, I think it's looking really good, too, in the natural light. I look really pink right now, but I think that's probably the lighting. Oh, and I'm hot as shit. I have, I have my heat turned up. I like to feel like I'm baking from the outside, <laughs> but I think it's looking really good. Again, I'm going to have to watch back. When I'm editing, I always notice so many things I don't see in the viewfinder. But so far, I think it's looking really nice. Hey, y'all. It is late. I meant to check in like an hour and a half ago, but I just now have been able to eat lunch. It's 2.53 p.m. I can't wait till Christmas gets here so we can slow down. Work is so incredibly busy. So, yeah, sorry I didn't get to check in. It's a little bit after the desired time, but we'll get another check-in when I leave here tonight. Hopefully not too late. This is holding up so much better than I ever anticipated. I don't know why, I guess it's just my impression with kind of like BB creams and CC creams that they tend to break down on me really quick. This one's not. And I had that like head wrap on, I've had this around my neck, I just ate lunch so like napkin and everything touching here. I have not blotted once and I have not touched up with powder or anything and it's still looking really good. At least what I'm seeing right now. I mean look, I'm oily but that's like nothing. I'm a very very oily person, this has been like five hours, five and a half hours on. I'm loving it. Loving it. Hey y'all. So I changed my mind and I wanted to do one last check-in right before I go take a shower and go to bed. It is 7.30 on the dot right now, which means I've had this on for 11 hours because I put this on at 8.30. That is one really long day to test out a foundation, especially one that doesn't claim to be anything long wearing at all. But when I came home, I just, I, first of all, I noticed that it was like still on my face, even though I'm very oily. And second of all, I just kind of had the idea that why don't I blot and then add a layer of powder, just like I would do if I was going to go have dinner or go to happy hour or something like that with my friends after work. And so that's what I did. And I feel like well, it's not perfect. It's definitely not. Um, but I feel like it's presentable. So you can obviously tell I've definitely diminished coverage over time. That's worn away, really broken down by oil is what's happened. But on my cheeks, it isn't so bad because definitely oilier on my forehead. Um, and then all through here, it's flaking because, again, of the dryness. But other than that, I don't think it looks that bad. So the By Terry Light Expert is definitely a winner, especially for just simple, easy days like this or like weekends. I want to run to brunch real quick or something like that. Yay, I'm excited. Like I said, I have been really searching for kind of a light coverage foundation or a BB cream, just something very effortless. And I think I found it. So thank y'all so much for watching Cruelty Free Foundation Friday. If you have any recommendations you'd like to see featured in this series, let me know down in the comments below. Thank y'all again for watching. See you in a couple of days in my next video. Don't ever forget that it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous right where you are. Love y'all. Bye.